<sighs> Hi, everybody. This is Reno, the Road Pirate. I'm on my channel, <clears throat> and I would like to give Itchy Boots, Nora Lee, a message. What is, I think so, very, very important. I saw uh, yesterday your last video and you were carrying your bike because the clutch was burned and your bike was on the pickup truck and you brought it uh, to town where you can fix it. And in the end of that video you told your subscribers, and I belong to it as well, so you told them you, uh, there was a, a motorcycle cops, two of them on one bike, they overtook you, they stopped you, and they asked you for papers. And you got all the legal papers what you need, the Carnet de Passage, and everything, you know, the, the bike papers and stuff like that. You've got everything. And you hand them over to them. And they uh, blamed you, it, uh, it is fake papers and stuff like that. And uh, you get a fine. So you had to follow them off the main road in a small road where they can't be really watched by people and they were shouting at you, they were yelling at you and uh, they said uh, you have to pay a fine. So the fine was, I don't know exactly, but it was not that much and you handed over and they didn't give you the papers back and they wanted more money. So these cops are corrupt. And it's very sad, but it happens in all the countries, but most in, in Africa, definitely. What I want to say is, you have to act in a different way with these people. So first thing, when they ask you for the papers, you can show them your papers, but you are not handing them over so you show them and when they argue start arguing with you and they want money you are never you don't give them never give them money just tell them okay there is an issue you have an issue with me we go together to the next police station and over there I hand the papers over and over there we will sort that out, that problem. And I can promise you 95% of this policemen, they back off then already. I had it many times in my life, so I know what I'm talking. When I was, okay, uh, before you go into the next country, Go on internet and look for the Department of Transport, Traffic, Police Department and try to get the name and the phone number from the boss, from the biggest or the second, you know, the manager. Try to get that name and that phone number. And when something like that happened, when the police stops you and they they start arguing with me and you've got the feeling they want to rip you off you grab your phone and you 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 can just pretend to do that but you can say you know i'm phoning now the minister of transport the minister of the police department whatsoever you got that name you got that phone number and then 95% they back off because they don't want to get in trouble with that. So that's the one thing you have to know. That's very, very important for you because now this time you paid them. 
a lot of money. Maybe not for you, but for them it's a lot of money. And they will do that because of their good experience to get on, on, on your money. They will do it again and again and again on the next travelers. So it's a bad, it's a very bad thing to do that. So please don't try to get around it somehow and teach them not to try it again. You know what I mean? And when we stick together, we travelers, and we not supporting corrupt police cops, then uh, we do that for all of us. You know, the following travelers, they, they get the same crap what you had. So uh, we, we should stick together and, and we shouldn't uh, give them money. I had it, uh, I went through the Zahara with my motorcycle and I went from Algerian to, yeah, to Mali and somewhere in the middle of the desert where the border is there was an army station and there was a control station and I had to get in this little hut, uh, it was awfully hot and I had to show all my papers. And then he excused me, he abused me for having uh, fake papers, what I didn't have. And he said, can you prove that this is not fake? I said, how can I prove that? And he said, I will show you. So put your hands on the desk. And that's what I did. I put my both hands on the desk. And he grabbed under the desk and there was a big glass, a big jaw with a black scorpion. So he threw that black scorpion right next to my hands. And he said, when you take your hands away, you are lying to me. You are not honest. And I was sweating. Hey, it was hot in there anyway, but I was sweating. It was just dripping sweat. I didn't move. I didn't move my hands and I let the scorpion go uh, running around and uh, he didn't attack me. So in this animal there was more trust than in uh, many people, you know. It, it can happen uh, that people want to let you off. But please, be strong. Be strong, don't do it. Don't give them money. Let them make a bad experience and they will learn something out of it as well. So, uh, this is the message to you. I know you are 100% confident and I know you trust people, but we can't trust all of them, you know? And this kind of people, we should not, not get along with them in any way. So, please be prepared for the next time. Don't do anything what I wouldn't do. <laughs> I love your traveling and good luck and God bless you and go forwards. Keep your head up. Don't give up. Okay then. Bye-bye.